And welcome again to RFK Stadium, the U.S. National Team Soccer. The national team has reassembled and rather quickly, in fact, two starters, Mike Sorber and Tap Ramos, landing last night at Dulles at 6 Eastern time, just coming in for this game. It's a very precious opportunity for this team. Uh, very much so. A good chance for a build-up because, let's face it, the CONCACAF Gold Cup will be here very shortly. Then it's the U.S. Cup. Then we qualify for France. Everybody, arena number 19. Roy Wegerly, number 10, in the Saudis in the white. U.S. in the blue. Joe Max Moore plays in the Bundesliga Zwei, the second division in Germany. Now Tavaramos. Oh, nice piece of skill. Pushes it into the box. Shot save, Al Sadiq. Moore with the shot. And the end result of that last play is Joe Max Moore runs onto a beautifully sent through ball by Tab Ramos. The lead out to Maui. Sorber measures him. A run. Out comes Friedel. Hits the post and in. Al Jabber. And the Saudis take the lead. Play initially starts from the midfield area. Khalid Al Kamawi sends Jabber through, looks up, beats Friedel, sends it off the near post, rebounds it to the far side netting. Well, Nick Sampson has seen his club in this position. They were in the U.S. Cup against Nigeria coming from behind. That bounce down, lot. This is up the flick, got over the top, hit the crossbar, and stays in play and is cleared. What a tremendous run from deep out of his own backfield by Alexi Lalic. We go end to end quickly. Al Jabber contesting. Into the box again. With a shot. Goal! Mahalo! Bahed Mahalal, and it's 2-0 in the 11th minute. Here is the end result of that play as we watch it develop yet one more time. Saw so he's get in deep, number 11. Bahed Mahalal, the fourth individual work by a Saudi forward. The captain plays it wide. Chip in. Bounds down inside the six-yard box. Some more good individual work by the Saudis in midfield. Wallace in the six-yard box, punched out by Al Sadik. Sorber sends a screamer wide. Buddy Arena takes it from Ramos. He's got regularly in front. Sorber's got some room. Pushes it in. This is Reyna. Shot saves Sadiq. Gives up the rebound. And bicycled out of the area. Al Zamawi. Push through ball for Al Jabber. Friedel is there, it's still loose. And very calmly put wide, and a penalty kick oh, yeah. is called. Nice through ball from Fouad Amin. Looking yet one more time for Sammy Al Jabber. You see Brad Friedel coming off his line. He realized he was beat. Simply clipped the feet of Sammy Al Jabber, who's been playing very, very well in this first half for the Saudis. Oh, I run. 3 0. This team made it to the second round of World Cup 94, and they are handing the U.S. its lunch. Here's the penalty kick by the number 10 shirt, Saeed Oiran, who, as Bob pointed out earlier, has had a lot of success on this field. A beautiful individual effort against Belgium, 65 yards, perhaps more, in the World Cup last year. But Brad Friedel simply has no chance with that particular shot struck by Saeed Oiran. Lassiter gets an immediate touch. Agus. Sends Ramos on a run. Lasseter filling the middle. Ramos taking down outside the penalty area. And a free kick for the U.S. Tab's 62nd appearance for the national side today. Lawless just off the six. You see to the left of your screen. Ramos looking for Alexi. Headed goal for the U.S. is on the sheet. Set piece to perfection. And it's 3-1. And number 22. Lexi Lawless comes out of the backfield, now scores his seventh goal for the United States, six of which have come off of head balls. And now Lawless up out of the back, that's what he's supposed to do, Bob. 3-1, he skies, and when he skies, you can sky with him. And Brad Friedel knows that his team is down. The Saudi side with goals from El Jabber and Mahalal and the O.Y. run penalty kick. Lawless, the U.S. goal on the free kick. Mike Burns now on the right side. U.S. looking to draw to a goal on this field. They scored four against Mexico this summer. Ramos in the box. Tab is taken down. And we play on. 
Referee Raul Dominguez would not give that PK, the penalty kick, to Tab Ramos, but Ramos again doing his job. Compliment to him, Bob. This team in Mexico, Tigres, they bought 12 new players this year. Tab still kept the spot. Claudio Reyna cuts it back. Takes on number eight, El Tamawi, with the cross. The goal! Joe Max Moore, and it's a one-goal match. Oh, that's great stuff from the United States. Claudio Reyna doing his job wide on the right. Reyna, individual brilliance at the right wing. Curls it at the near post. Joe Max Moore runs onto it. That ball's unstoppable. Another nice view of it. Reyna across the face, curling it at the near post. Joe Max Moore runs onto it, side puts it into the Saudi Arabian far side netting. Watch this celebration from number seven. Joe Max Moore beautifully done. Another corner kick for the U.S. When Ramos got in so deep with no recourse, his job was to win the corner. That's what he did. Looking for Lawless over the head. Missed on the bicycle attempt by Al Rushed. Burns the cross put out. The United States continuing to attack. But the Saudis have the lead and make him counterattack Mahalel. Pushing that ball for Al Jabber. Contesting with Kalajuri. Paul comes back. Burns helps out. Al Jabber over the top. You have to admit that the United States is arguably coming off its most successful summer ever with the success in the U.S. Cup and then the Copa America. Reyna for Lassiter. Nice attempt. Al Dow would put it out. Joe Max Moore for Sorber. In the box. The cross for Lassiter. Pushing it back. Goal! Cabo Ramos. The match is tied. 3 0. People off the ball, making the play possible. Look at that one-touch pass from Joe Max Moore. Sorber looks up, keeps it, knocks it back deep. Lasseter with his back to the goal. Knocks it back for Ramos, who hits it first time, and that's an equalizer. The ability to make this play happen is number 16, Mike Sorber. He looked up and did not strike it first time. He waited for a person to show. It was Roy Lasseter with his back to the goal, laid it off for his midfielder. It was Ramos. It's three each. They tended to tire. They played their best game, their best ball early for the most part. Reyna for Ramos. In front, last in goal, the U.S. is taking the lead. Four unanswered goals. Oh, my, Roy Lassiter on a head. Here's the play again. Ramos runs on to the through ball, curls it neatly across the face of the goal. The goalkeeper out of position at the near post. Here's the end result of that play. Ramos appears from nowhere, running deep from midfield. Number nine curls it across the face and running onto it is Roy Lassiter. Another headed goal. Lassiter capping a four goal burst for the United States. Oh, I run in the box. Turn, save Summer, pulls it down. 30, 45 minutes. It really changed with Lalas's goal. Now Ramos near the ball. Right on to El Sadik. Very patient buildup here with some time and space for Mike Sorber to send it. For Agus. In front. One time to the top by Moore with a left foot. That's a beautifully engineered play. In the United States dead and buried. 25 minutes into this match. Rising like Lazarus and getting a result. Lassiter comes back defensively, challenging there with Mahalal. As we are now in the second minute of injury time of the second half. Al Gashayan plays it short to Al Rushed. Summer punches it out in a collision there with Aldo Wood. Lawless couldn't get there. Sent back in and over the top, a dangerous shot. Kind of stuff you don't start to see in your own penalty area. The wild flurry like that in the 91st minute of the game. As our referee, Raul Dominguez, checks his watch. Play on, and that is it. The United States. Relief, I believe, in that embrace as much as congratulations. Down three goals, climbing back from the dead. An impressive performance by that man, Roy Lasseter, and an impressive performance, I think, psychologically for the U.S. in that they never gave up.